Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday, everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix um, this particular error message on your uh, Windows 10 virtual machine that you're hosting on VMware Workstation Player, right? So let me give you a brief insight about what I was doing earlier before I landed into this issue. And now there is no issue for me because I've resolved it successfully. So how I resolved it is what I'm going to tell you in this video. So basically what I was doing was like um, I have uh, installed an, an emulator, Android emulator called as BlueStacks. Android emulator, right? So that's one of the top um, Android emulators available out there in the market, right? Why I have, uh, why I had installed that uh, Android emulator is because I was trying to reverse engineer, okay, an Android application's code to bypass uh, its authentication, right? So by uh, decompiling the code and then uh, modifying the code to bypass that authentication and then recompiling the code back and then uh, making the uh, amended code signature verified that will be the third step and f the final step would be to um, verify if that application has successfully taken that modification or not all right so that is part of that reverse engineering that i was trying to um, learn okay and however what i ended up was getting an error okay within the blue blue stacks application so let me show you the error first so guys so this is how the error looks like as soon as you launch the blue stacks uh, android em uh, emulator application you get this error blue stacks cannot start as hardware assisted uh, virtualization is disabled on your PC so enable it from uh, from your BIOS so I did verify my BIOS settings and it had the uh, virtualization enabled okay so then I realized that it could be a different issue so I researched online and found that uh, there could be a cost with the hypervisor uh, additional feature or op optional feature may have been enabled in my PC right so I quickly went to apps and programs okay my uh, going on to appvis.cpl uh, then going on to windows features on or off feature uh, facility and then here what i did was i unchecked this windows hypervisor platform and then I, as soon as i hit ok it asked for me to restart my pc which i did and still the issue was there so afterwards what i did was i went to command prompt as an administrator okay i ran I ran as an administrator command prompt and i uh, entered this command here all right so this, this is the command guys i'm just going to run it and show you in front of you all right and then I just hit enter and this was the message I got. The operation completed successfully. And as soon as I typed that command and I re-verified and I was still getting this error, all right? And hence I realized there could be another solution that is uh, required. Okay, so, and then I entered and I opened a command, uh, sorry, PowerShell, okay? Again, as an administrator. So what I did was I opened a PowerShell as an administrator, all right? And then I ran this command, guys. For majority of you who are using Windows 10, probably you need to use this command. Okay. For me, this command uh, was the one that uh, made my issue resolve. Okay. So I just typed this command and I hit enter. And this is what I got, guys. Okay. So the feature was successfully uh, disabled from my PC. And as soon as I uh, started back my virtual machine, this error went away. And I was successfully able to, uh, what do you say, I was successfully able to enable the hardware virtualization within my VMware workstation player. All right, so how to do the, how to enable that guys, all right? So it's very simple guys, just a second. So all you have to do is, you have to go to settings, and then here, processor, and you have to check this first option and hit okay. And as soon as you power on the virtual machine, you will be able to bypass the, bypass this error message, all right? And so that's how I fixed the issue, guys. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the upload button, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more useful technical content like this. Thank you. See you in the next video. Tada.